Previously on Casino. You know, why is Sir Lloyd back? And and why do I always have to open the show? You know, the 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 it's an ensemble show. No, it's I'm the lead. I'm Javita Late. Uh, you know, it, it, it the show resembles my name, L.A. Javita Late. It's not it's not Lloyd Late. <laughs> it's not Lane. It's not Blaine Late. And tonight on Casino. It's Jimmy really late, and I'm very disturbed that there's no holiday decor here. I mean, it's the holidays. Can we at least invest in a scarf tree? I mean, you know, it's festive. You walk into a beautiful office like this, well, okay office, and you see the scarf tree in the corner, and you realize that business owner went to TJ Maxx. <laughs> They got their EIDL grant, they invested, they went to the full uh, $15,000 or whatever uh, whatever they offer there now that I've quit, and they invested in a good um, working capital of a scarf tree. <laughs> you know, it's, it's times like this that you have to bring your decor up to spar. It's a holiday season, and you know, either you come to the game and perform, or you go home like the Cowboys. <laughs> I mean, at the moment, you're just not performing, LA. Uh, this set is not working. It's sort of like the Cowboys when they were against the Raiders, you know, down by three. Uh, it's sort of like the Cowboys when they faced the Chiefs, you know, down by ten. Uh, it's sort of like what we could see with the Cowboys against Washington this weekend. Uh, but, you know, I'm the moving goalpost queen, uh, king, or whatever you want to say. And, you know, I will move the goalposts so that you can bring in a substantial scarf tree. Just so long as you don't bring in that animal sirloin. <laughs> Did you see what he wore to work today? He was just like a cow. I mean, who, why is Sir Loin dressed like a cow? Who does he think he is, a cow? Uh, I have come up with a new idea from SBA, even though I'm not employed there anymore. To replace the EIDL, I think they need to do the FIDL, the Financial Injury Disaster Loan. <laughs> For all those people out there that dress so horrible like Sir Loin that think cow is a fashion. It's not a fashion statement. It's just, you know. It's something that needs to roam and never come back. <laughs> just, sir, just why is he dressed like a cow? Who told him that cow is a fashion statement? It's not. It, who does he think he is, Anna Winward? Uh, you know, cow. He is not going to be on the front of L Decor or L or L Paris or L France or L. You know, um, barnyard. <laughs> That is not a fashion statement, LA. And he needs to come to par. Until there, until then, please get the Christmas uh, scarf tree done, and I will see you uh, tomorrow. And with that, it's time to bring back the incredible cow lobbyist for those farmers. Oh, what is he up to? What is he going to say? Is he investing in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Calicoin? <laughs> Let's see what he's doing. Welcome back to this incredible channel, Sir Loin. How are you, Sir Loin? How are you? How's your day going? I'm glad you showed back to episode two of this new series. I'm good, LA. You know, I did show back up, uh, even though I'm still not unionized. You need to work on that because I'm a union guy like Joe Biden. You are a union guy or a union cow like Joe Biden. So how are you doing? I am doing well. I am doing well. It's very nice to be back here. And I'm glad you gave me a better parking spot than Joe Vita Light. <laughs> yeah, I see the cow. I see the cow lack outside. So, are you getting the electric cow cow lack the lyric when it comes out? I don't know. 
I'm looking for that $12,500 deduction that is in one of those many provisions you bring on camera every day. I mean, you just have notes. I mean, how many people, how much notes do you bring on camera? I bring a lot of notes on camera, so like, so it's $12,500 if I buy the Cadillac Lyric. It is, it is, because it's US, it's auto manufactured, and it's, um, expensive <laughs> it is expensive it's like everything that joe biden's doing is just i'll give you a discount on something that's very expensive and then you feel sort of less expensive <laughs> yeah you see that's a reoccurring theme here out the out the door so did you hear the breaking news i did i did what's going off mitch and chuck i don't know it's like they're kumbaya la what's going on chuck and mitch have had secret meetings since the month of 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 the, uh since the month of thanksgiving they have and and during those months they agreed to do the defense spending bill the debt ceiling limit the debt ceiling limit and they've agreed to do their own kardashian card christmas card together <laughs> I don't know if they agreed to that as well. What else have they agreed to? I don't know. They're agreed to a lot of stuff, sir. Like, what do you think? Uh, what, do, what, do, what do you think is going up? I do not know. I do not know. I mean, I've been telling viewers on this channel, sir, Lloyd, that I re I, my rationale is Mitch is giving Chuck the opportunity to spend money. And then if things go sour, then to say, hey, the Democrats spent too much money. I let the, here they are. They spent a lot of money kick them out uh, in the midterms. I think that's brilliant. I think that's brilliant. Can they spend some money on me? <laughs> you know, I spent the money spent on you. Yeah, I just I just want lots of it. But what were these secret meetings? Uh, they were having secret meetings since, since Thanksgiving. Really? Really? That's fascinating. It was so secretive that even the teal monster didn't know about it. No, she didn't know about it. She was following the, 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 the color wheel. The color wheel did not take her there? No, it did not take her there. Maybe they were wearing camo. They were wearing camo. That's why she didn't see it. They were hiding out. They were hiding out when they had the secret meetings. They were. And and and, and it's just fascinating they getting all these things done. Debt ceiling, the second debt ceiling, the debt defense spending bill, and then there probably will not be any bur uh, blockade of the recall. Wow, I'm amazed, Ellie. Like, do you think they had secret meetings about me? <laughs> secret meetings about a cow? You saying that's so disrespectful? No, I just mean secret meetings about you. Why? Why would they have secret meetings about you? You know, you never know. I, I do think they were having secret meetings about doing a cooking show. <laughs> A cooking show. Why? Uh, why? Why would they do a cooking show? Because they just they're just they're just very secretive. <laughs> I I think they were trying to do their own Kardashian Christmas card. <laughs> they were trying. They were trying to do a secret uh uh a Chris uh a cooking show because everyone has a cooking show. I mean, there's a cooking show about everything. You want to cook? You have a cooking show. <laughs> I I think you're probably right. And I think they were secretly having meetings about how to have Nancy change her share style. No, oh, that's awful, so long. I think they were. I think they were having secret covert meetings about you need to get to Nancy and really get it to her, through to her. It's been so many years. She's been so many years as Speaker of the House. You need to get to her, Chuck. I have confidence in you as, as Mitch McConnell. Tell her she has to stop with that hairstyle right away. <laughs> Sir Lloyd, I just, I just don't know what to say. I mean, I, you know, I, I like it. I just, oh, you know, it's, oh, like, no, it doesn't work. I, th I think there was meetings about this. <laughs> There you go. Uh, do you think they had meetings about someone else? Absolutely. They had meetings about Anne and uh, and Brian D.C. <laughs> do you really think they did? Yes, they had to say. They said Brian D.C. needs to stop leaning on the wall. If they don't, that Anne's going to come and push the wall away. <laughs> Sir Lloyd. Uh, what else do you think they had secret meetings about? They had secret meetings about how um, how Crayola has, just forget, has to forget about this cowboy season and just move on. <laughs> Sir Lloyd, you're really going in today. Yes, he just, uh, they, they just had lots of meetings. They had lots and lots of meetings. They had meetings with Dragon and just tell him, the dragons are overrated. <laughs> Sir Lloyd, it's just, there's a lot on your mind today, isn't there? Yes, it's just, it's just yah, 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 lots of, they had meetings about yah, yah as well. What <laughs> meetings about yah, yah and those secret meetings? What did Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell have secret meetings about? how you're not buying enough to central land on the dip and that there's lots of dips still to come. <laughs> so Lloyd, come on now. I think this, I just I think Central Land is gonna dip. Um and I think you should buy some as well. <gasps> Sacrilegious ally. I only buy cow coin. I only buy loin coin. I only buy Sir, 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 you have another coin coming out? <laughs> How many coins do you need? Well I just you know I'm I'm into this metaverse. Did you hear that uh that uh that Snoop Dogg is doing Sandbox, and it's called um, Snoopverse. 
oh, that's so innovative, don't you think? Not. <laughs> no, it's, I don't think it's innovative. I mean, everyone's just taking their name and taking the, and then taking off the second half of their name and calling it Snoopverse, Budverse. There was Budverse. And what is it going to be next? Loinverse. Oh, that's brilliant. You just said it's ridiculous. No, I think it's brilliant. Loinverse. Uh, it's Serverse. No, not Serverse. That sounds very, that's hard to say. Serverse. Ser servers. 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 I've seen them. They're on that Pump Rule show on, on, on Bravo. <laughs> Not servers, servers. See, I told you it's a complicated, complicated word. Servers, 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 and the servers. No, we can't do this, Holly. It's not working. Uh, yes, we're going to do loinverse. Loinverse. Um, mm, interesting. Not coin, not, not, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Calverse? Calverse. Doesn't ring. Doesn't ring a bell. I don't know. Uh, and, and did you see what I saw last night? What did you see? Javita Villars. Javita Lars. Wait, you can't even say that. Javita Lars. There's too many outs in there, sir. So. Javita, ja, wait, wait, what do you say? Javita Lars. Is that exactly what you saw in the metaverse? Yes, I saw a scarf running, and I said, it's Javita. Get the scarf. Tag the scarf. Or tag it quickly. Take it to uh, take it to a meatless taco and put it in the meatless taco and resell it in the metaverse. Oh, sir, Lloyd, this is... So you really are you really gun ho on putting a cow a, a cow seed in the in the metaverse? I oh, am, yeah, I think it'll be brilliant. It'll be the first. It'll be the top dairy destination in the metaverse. It will never spoil because it's it's digital. <laughs> it will have grass outside. You won't have to eat it um, because it'll be digital. It'll last forever. Uh, I'll up. I'll, I'll overcharge the twelve dollar ice cream at twelve at twelve at thirteen ninety nine because it's the supply chain issues. You always blame everything on the supply chain. And I think it's brilliant. I, I think dairy needs to be brought to the next level. <laughs> dairy needs to be brought to the next level. Yes, dairy is just, we, we are drinking dairy the same way we drank dairy in the 1920s. It's time to bring dairy to the modern economy. <laughs> dairy to the modern economy. So what's dairy? I thought, I thought, uh, I, I, I thought lactose intolerant and soy latte was like, <laughs> I thought soy milk was the modern, the <laughs> modern milk industry. It is not. That's like very 1960s. They had, they had, um, they had soy milk at, at Woodstock. Were you not there? I think you were. You're old enough. I was not at Woodstock, Sir Lloyd. I mean, you know, uh, I think Nancy was there. <laughs> and, you know, and they were probably, you know, they're at the War of 1812. But, you know, uh, no, I, so, yeah, I, I guess there has not been a lot of innovation for milk. Uh, and, and you seek to bring innovation to the crypto, not to the crypto, to the digital universe. I do. I think the metaverse is ready for the next stop of milk. And where's the next step of milk? Uh, I don't know. I got to figure this out. <laughs> You gotta do this, figure this out before you go into these investments. Well, Snoop didn't do anything figuring out. He just sort of puffed one and then said, Snoop first, done. <laughs> Budverse didn't really think this out. They said, we'll just sell some bud on the med, the Budverse, the Bud Light verse, make a low verse. I don't know. Uh, what's next? Corona verse? Uh, it's just, it's just, <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense. It, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I, I don't think people are thinking this thing through. Are you going to think it through? I am going to think it through. I'm going to show it to a new show on this channel um, called uh, Metaverse Working Title. I like how you have a plug in every show you have lately. <laughs> Is that, <laughs> that's a little shady, Sir Line. You just plug in your shows wherever you can plug them. You're plugging this show and another show. You're plugging a new show in this show you're just plugging everything and it's just brilliant can you i plug myself no you cannot plug yourself because we're in the middle of a program i am sir lloyd and i want to plug the new casino in the metaverse it's coming to a new metaverse new year no it's coming in deception line a metaverse that's already around and i want you to tune in sir lloyd can you please stop this i'm not I'm plugging your product in, in on my show well who are we going to plug javita light <laughs> You're right. Uh, and, and Casino is a brand new platform that'll show you that milk is in a is a new platform that m millennials can enjoy milk as well. Wait, are you seeing millennials have not drank milk until you came along? No, there was they have not enjoyed milk. They they need to refine milk. Milk has to be refound. And I hope to do that. <laughs> Maybe Mitch and Chuck should have a secret meeting about milk. <gasps> 
do you think they had a secret meeting about milk? I, maybe they did. They've had a secret meeting about milk since October. Since It's going to erode. The, they, and they did not include me in the secret meeting. This is horrible. I need to be in part of these meetings. <laughs> uh, you know, they, they're working on the, the, the debt ceiling limit. They're working on the defense spending bill. I don't think they're working on milk. I think milk has worked on enough. And if you work on it anymore, it's going to spoil. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> what can I say about milk? I say it's soy, and then you say it's too old. I can't say work on it. It's going to go sale. What can I say about milk? You can say leave milk to sirloin and the casino coming to a metaverse near you. A link is under this video. Hit the link right now. Sirloin, you're plugging your product some more. So, LA, are we going to keep on giving me top billing or are we ensure that I have the only billing on this channel? Because I see that Javita Lake, she's trying to get up. She's trying to get behind. No, sirloin, sir, you're good for now. Good for now. You mean good for just one more episode? I just, you know, good for now. I'll check it for the next episode. But will you be at the next episode? I have to see. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Yes, this is Blaine 66 at, um at wonderful Bernie Sanders' office. How can I help you? Oh, you want to advocate? Yes, yes. What do you want to advocate for? And can I write down your name? Hurry up, I'm right in the middle of my meal. What is your name? Oh, Senator McConnell, how are you? Nice to speak with you again. Yes, you called yesterday to advocate for lobsters in the Fourth Summer's Recon. Yes, what do you want to advocate for today as well? Uh, you do not want to be known as Senator McConnell. Okay, I will make sure that when I put your name down for advocacy, that I do not put your name down for, uh, for as Senator McConnell. Can I know why you do not want to be known as Senator McConnell when advocating for lobsters in the recon? Oh, you want to blame the Democrats if they spend the money on the lobsters. <laughs> I see. Very, very smart. You want to blame Democrats if they're spending too much on the national deficits on lobsters. I got it. So that they realize it didn't come from you because no one would ever believe that you were behind lobsters. It's very, very Democrat for them when on lobsters. Never, no one would ever suspect Mitch McConnell wants lobsters. So what name do you want me to put down as the advocacy for lobsters? Barry Manilow. Oh, okay. Yes, they would never suspect Barry Manilow asking for lobsters. <laughs> That makes a little sense. And um, why, uh, it's, it's very nice to speak with you. I haven't seen you in a few days. I know you saw that new report that came out today. You said you had secret meetings with Chuck Schumer back before Thanksgiving. Did you have those secret meetings about me? <laughs> <laughs> what were you talking about in those secret meetings? I know you were talking about the defense spending bill, done. You were talking about the debt ceiling limit, done. Uh, you were talking about the recon, almost done. Were you talking about me? You were. Uh, and what did you talk about? Uh, not paying my paid leave. Uh, <laughs> oh, of course, you're a Republican. Yeah, you, of course you would never want to pay my, pay my paid leave. I understand that. But, you know, I need to take breaks for my lunch. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm busy late. I'm, I'm about to eat my lunch right now. Can you hurry up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> So are you going to be sent by Senator McConnell, that new electric car, when that Joe Biden provision comes out? No, you are not. You're buying a coal-burning, gas guzzling car. I got it. Very Republican. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm very, very proud of you. And did you see what Ted Cruz said today about you? He said that they shouldn't uh, allow the Democrats to spend the money. Don't enable them. Do you think you're enabling Chuck Schumer by allowing the defense spending bill and the debt ceiling limit? No, you're just, you're just, you're Barry Manilow. Of course. <laughs> Barry Manilow is doing it. Of course, I got it. Barry Manilow is to blame if anyone says we're spending too much money. It was not Chuck Schumer. It was not, it was not Mitch McConnell. When we see lobsters, when we see too much spending, when we see Mitch balls falling on New Year's Eve, it's not Mitch. It's Barry Manilow. <laughs> I got it. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's 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 just what you do in Kentucky, isn't it? And you know, if we see uh, any remnants of fried chicken at the recon, I will blame it on Barry Manilow as well. <laughs> no one will think it's anyone from Kentucky. Absolutely. <laughs> you have, you're you very brilliant. I see why you have been leader so long. You always deflect. You deflect. You, be you deflect better than a real housewife. You deflect better. Better than a real housewife during a reunion when caught with a chain scandal and, and a husband that is over a three-part episode. You know how to deflect very quickly. So whenever possible, go under assumed identity. 
ask for the money get it and then and then blame it on someone else it's brilliant it's it's like the new age republican i like it ted cruz he's outdated he's sort of like sir lloyd in that that cow outfit that he's still wearing you don't know sir lloyd oh okay good you don't want to meet him uh no don't use his identity don't use his identity he's too well known you, uh, use javita lane no one knows her <laughs> you can use her identity no one knows her he sir lloyd he's too well known so you're better off can we hear this i'm about to eat my lunch <laughs> But I appreciate you for calling, sir, uh, uh, Senator McConnell. I will uh, impart this information to Lita Schumer, and uh, and 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 Bernie, and Liz, and Ron Wyden, and 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 tell them, Bernie call. Uh, uh, no, ba Barney, <laughs> Barry, Barry, not Bernie, not Barney, Barry, Barry called one of those beers, not Barney, uh, not Bernie, but Barry called. And um and and have a hope you have a good Cuba cabana to yourself as well. <laughs>